Hi, welcome to ITY Solutions. So today we will work on uh, Sachin Patil's uh, request. So he is saying thanks for your reply and please add video on web monitor. Once URL or server is down, automatically send email to team. So if you want, uh, we are just working on the last part today. Send email to team. So for that we need uh, email uh, implementation. So for that, uh, let's uh, get back to work. So this is what we are going to follow today. And uh, without any delay, let's start. So, okay, so this is the first slide, Zabbix email configuration. Now, uh, you need an email address, right? From where you will send emails. This, uh, now we are talking about a from address. For example, any abc at the gmail.com, uh, which you will use to send emails. So now there are two scenarios will be there. So if uh, first one is like if you have a two step authentication enabled in your email or not. So please follow these steps if you have two step authentication enabled. So first what you have to do, you have to uh, open your Google account. So here we are and in the security you have to move and this you can see app password, right? So you have to create it this app password you need to create it uh, when you will configure uh, uh, post fix post fix we are using to send the emails so at that time you need a, your email id and your password but the password you used to log in onto the browser or, or to the phone that will not work if you have enabled two-step authentication okay so let's see one by one so you have to open this page click on security and uh, okay follow this signing into the google panel choose app password you need to choose app password and uh, uh, so you can see here app password is one so if i'll go here so now uh, see i have created a app password for zabbix so same you can also create here so for mail calendar i just go to the other and i just put my uh, name here so i just put it at zabbix so after let, let me show you i will just uh, give a, a demo and generate so now see it is giving me this password so just copy this password on a notepad or somewhere for let, let, let's say i am just putting it here so now this will be your gmail password but not from not from the console you know you can't you no need to log in from console this will work later on just save it i will tell you where to use okay let's go back to our slide okay two step version no setup account two step version is set up account keys okay at the bottom choose select app and choose app you are using that we just did select device and choose this is also we did generate that is also done follow the instruction to the app password the app password is 16 character code yes you can see this is 16 character code and uh, choose done okay so this is the reference link you can follow i will uh, I will uh, uh, provide you the link of this PPT in my description box. Don't worry for that. Okay. So the second method is if you don't have two-step authentication enabled for your email from which you will send mails. So for that, you have to enable this. Allow less secure apps on. Okay. So when you uh, type this less secure apps access. Uh, so for, for that, you can just uh, copy this URL. Sorry and uh, yeah you can follow this and uh, it will allow you to uh, enable that so let me open this but i won't be able to do it because i have already two-step authentication enabled so yeah let's proceed further and uh, yeah if you don't have two-step enables you have to enable it so it will look like this when you open this and uh, just click on this blue button and that's it so now you you will be able to use your email and your password the default password uh, at the time of configuration so this is just about uh, just about the starting like how to start and uh, 